Haleluya. Haleluya. Haleluya bwoko bw'Imana. Haleluya people of God. Haleluya mwese bakiriye umwami Yesu umwami n'umukiza. Haleluya all of you have received the Lord Jesus as the savior. Haleluya mwese mwahawe ububasha bwo kwitwa abana b'Imana. Haleluya all of you have been given the authority to be called the children of God. Hanze hari ubwoko bw'Imana. Outside here there are people of God. Ariko hano hari abana b'Imana. But inside the sanctuary they are the children of God. Iryo ni itandukaniro rikomeye. And that's a big difference. Uh, as they introduced me let me also add a few more things without taking more time Dumushumba witwa Mazimaka Jones Kennedy I am a pastor called Mazimaka Jones Kennedy Nakiriye Kristo nk'umwami wanje I received the Lord Jesus as my savior Nasutswe ha mavuta y'ubushumba muri bibiri 14 I was ordained as a pastor in 2014 ariko nongera kandi nanone gusukwa ha mavuta umwaka ushize ahangaha muri iyi nzu y'Imana nyasukwaho numushumba umubyeyi apostle Dr Paul Gitwaza But then as well I was anointed and ordained by apostle Paul Gitwaza here last year in the sanctuary Umwuga wanje nakanwa kanje <laughs> My occupation is my mouth Kuko ndavuga cuz I really speak Navuga and when I talk nkaronga When I talk I earn Ndumukinyi wiki na micho na film I am one of the movie players and theater players. I started all this when I was 12 years old. The first award that I received, there were 10 spoons of peanuts. Of peanuts. Of peanuts, sorry. That was my first award. That was my first award. And by then I was 12 years old. But then this award within me it accelerated something more that also allowed me and also enabled me to get so many awards. I am now 57 years when I'm a player. 57. In the theater and also in film. Kamasa, let me let you know this that I am also a soccer player. I played soccer for so many teams. To the nation to which I lived in by then. And I am so good in sports. I, I walk 10 kilometers every Saturday. And by that I give thanks to God. I would like to talk about something called entertainment. Where does it meet with God? Where do they meet? But then I would like to remind you this. That when God created us, he put it within us a capacity to serve him and to always honor his name. And he knew very well that we could never serve him without having any tools that are going to enable us to serve him. So when did I get to know all about this? I knew about this in 2012. When the first Guma Guma superstar started. When I was coming from other nations to which we are refugees coming back to my own land, Rwanda, I was not saved. I 
I was the first MC in Bradigua by then. I am the one who made all the promotions of the beers that Bradigua was making by then. And whenever I took my microphone, Muri Expo Abibuka Expo Yambere Yaba Ye New Maya Genocide Akore Wabatuti. In the first trade fair that took place after the genocide against the Tutsi, Ichenda Gatanda. That was in 1996. Yabere Yemishuri Yari Se Doki Gali. It took place in Lise Doki Gali. Naja Fitu Bushu Hebgin Shimfu Yemuju Gucha Uganda Nihona Korea Gubga MC. I really came up with a lot of vigor coming from Uganda where I used to participate in MC. And I had a lot of knowledge and experience about being MCs. And whenever I held up the microphone, I would sell the whole container of beer. Ya meeting na Primus hari ya kuriri ya shuri. Of meeting and also Primus in that school of Lisedo Kigali. Ngomesa nya na Bradigua niko kazinari mfite gukora promotion abaje gabaza mu ma expo mwaje gamwumva DJ Carlos. So I continue promoting that 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 industry and whoever came in the trade fair used to hear about MC Carlos. Genocide rangiye after the genocide, in 1994, I was the first person to open up a dance, a nightclub here in Sun City in Nyamirambo. I was a DJ by then. And whenever I was DJing, the club was full of people and people were all happy. So now 2012 of this is where everything is turning around. A very, very audible voice and clear came and told me. Nico Kennedy way. And he said, Kennedy. Uzahagarara imbere kuri podiumu. Ugurishe ikamyo ya primus na mitingi na musteri. You're going to always stand there on that pulpit selling mitingi I'm still and those beers. No rangiza uzuhagarare kugatuti munzi yange. And then after you come and stand on the altar in my sanctuary. Hanyumu fugizi na ryange ibyo bintu bibiri birasa birajyana koko. And then you talk about my name do you think these things are similar do they work well along together? Guma guma yari giye gutangira bibiri 12 guma guma ya mbere. So the first guma guma in 2012 was about to start. Haburi cyumweru kimwe and the only one week was remaining turi munzu turi mo gusenga aho twateraniraga we were in a, in a prayer house where we used to congregate and pray ryajwirira garuka rirambira and the audible voice came back and told me hitamu uyu munsi he said make a choice today kuvuga izina ryanje either to speak my name kuryamamaza and pro proclaim it cyangwa kwamamaza burarirwa oh you're going to keep on pro promoting burarirwa bwoko bw'Imana people of god I had a contract of six million. In one month, I was going to earn that money. But the voice was so disturbing in my mind. I arose from the prayer house. And I said, from today, I take a decision not to again promote beer at all. And then my, eh? my wife turned again to, to, to me and said, <laughs> I think in her heart she was saying, really? Six million to go just anyhow? <laughs> and within me, it was like I was connecting with her in the spirit and I heard what she was saying in her heart. And I told my wife, don't worry. The God who brought us far to this way, he is also going to take us far from the other way. But I know very well why he created me is to serve him and to glorify his name. People of God. Entertainment in sports. Uh, platforms 
These are great platforms. Izo tugomba izo dushobora kwamamarizaho ubu ubutumwa bwiza. That we can use and proclaim the good news. Icya mbere ni ikihe? And what is the first thing among all? Mfite ibintu nka munani nshobora kubabwira. I have about eight things that I would like to share with you. Umunuri muri entertainment. Once you are in entertainment. No munuri muri sport. And you are in sport as well. No munuri mu buhanzi bwose bubaho. So you are an artist in any kind of way. Ashobora kureba bishobora kumufasha kwisobanukirwa ko yaremewe gukorera imana akoresheje ibyo bimurimo. This can help you to know that you can worship God and adore God using what, what talent is within you. So after you become a star and famous, then you are becoming one of the testimonies. You must use your fame and also all your talents. Noneho bukabubuhamya bwiza bwo kubwira babandi baza bakugana kuza kukureba kuko bagukunze and tell all the people who come to see you and all your fans to come and tell them the good news ukababwira Yesu Christ and then you tell them about Jesus Christ iyo ni platform that is one of the platforms iyo twakwita role modeling platform that we can call them, we can call role model platform, changwa se platform, urubuga rwichi tegerezu. Uyumusi ndu mushumba. Now today I am a pastor. But still I am still in movie making. Right now I'm a pastor. But still I am in a theater. Right now I'm a pastor. Nijisha, nijisha guchina. I teach players how to, to, to do it. I train people how to make movies. And all these, I, make, I train people to do that. And But then the first thing I have to know is that I first have to tell the people who have come to be trained that the Lord Jesus is great and is the Lord. Sinja ngori kosa ryo gutangira masomo nkabanje gusenga nabo. I never make any mistake any day whenever I'm going to train them without starting to pray with them. Sinja ngori kosa ryo gusoza masomo nkabaragije imana no kubashira imbere y'Imana kugira ngo bisobanukirwe. I never make a mistake of concluding my session without putting them before God and praying for them that they should know their destiny and get to know who they are exactly. Meaning I must use the platform that I have been given. The, the platform I have been given, I should use it very wisely. And second, that was the first. Harichotkuita creating and promoting Christian content. Haricho vita kurema ndete no gukora ibi kuviyemo ibi hangano biaji kristo. Ndu mngandi tsiwi china micho nama filme. I write all the movies and also, I write movies and also theater sessions. Ari kubyo nandi kabyo se ngomba kumenya ni iva ndu mu kristo. Nara maze kumenya imamfu chimana ya mayu bugobu menyi ni yo mano. But the whatever that I'm writing, I must also know and also put into consideration that what I'm doing, I was given it to God and also should consider it in whatever I'm doing. Ngomba kurema gushaka umuchino, uribu garuri mitima ya venshi, baga sobanu chirwa uiteke mana yachi. I must also create and also create a content and also create a movie that is going to bring the hearts of many to the Lord. Entertainment. If I am in entertainment, and I am a believer, and I know very well why the Lord has called me, and I know God has given me that capacity, that I may glorify his name, and if I don't do all this, and the scripture in the Bible that says, if you know to do something very well and you don't do it, that becomes a sin to you. It will always come back to me. Ngomba kuigisha, no gutoza, abajie kuiga guchina, indanga gachiro, zubu kristo. I must teach and train all these players the values of Christianity. Because many people, 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 many people
Because many of them are believers and they are saved. Ichindi ngomba kumenya nuko. And something else I get to, I, I, I should know. Muri entertainment industry ndimo. In the entertainment industry that I am in. Ngomba kufugiriza mubu tumga. I should preach the gospel. Ngomba kuijisha nabanu kufugo butumga. And also train people how to preach the gospel. Ichambere soma anu chirigwa nuko. The first thing I understand well is. Christo yaravu zengo. And Jesus said. Mujende muje mu misozi yos. They go up all the mountains and hills. No mu miva, no mu vivaya. And down in the valleys. Ku misozi. On the mountains. Mubgiri ze ubutumga bgiza. And preach the good news. Irangije inshira mubgo bushobo zibgo kubikora. And after he gave me the capacity to do or an ability to do it. Imhakuri rimba. He gave me a gift of singing. Imhaguchina. He gave me a gift of filmmaking and playing. Imhaguhanga. And also creating and innovating. And also designing. Imibi nubjishi bishobora kufasha. Kujirango nama mazubgo butunga bugiza mumiso za honji yehos. Within me, he gave me so many abilities and capabilities that I should proclaim the good gospel on all these mountains. Nibura hangaha uka buzineza yuko hari imano ufite muri wowe. You are here and you know there is a gift or talent that you have within you. Hanyumu kabuyi charanye gusarin hachi nuri mogu kora. And you're sitting down idly with it only. Uragwa muri ya kategori. Then you're coming out of the category. And one of the servants who went and hid his talent from, the, from where down in the ground. So that when the master came back, he gave him exactly the talent that he was given. Meaning the talent that is entrusted in you. And the capabilities that are within you. Ugomba urasabga kuba wabu koresha kujirango muri ya misozi na bja vivaya ujira yobu ujira bukura yuba za nimbere yima. You are required to use it very well so that you can get people out of the valleys and out of the mountains that you have been sent to. Kuito nderi chinu chimge. Let's take caution on this one thing. Something that is going to be questionable on our side yet we already know well about it. Entertainment industry. The entertainment industry. Sports industry. Or the sports and the sports industry. I'm coming to my third point. We are given all this so that. So that we may proclaim the love of Christ. And proclaiming the masses of the Lord God. And proclaiming justice. And next. To teach humility. Because these are Christian values that we should always have as believers. Mwene data kamasa yavuze kuchinu. And my brother Kamasa talked about, about something that I had within me. I was supposed to give a, a testimony about it. God gave us gifts because of two reasons. First, to glorify his name. And second, to bless him. To bless your talent and God is going to make it uh, sustain all the people that are going to come from you and all your descendants. Hanza hanga. Here in the secular world, there are millions of people who have I know so many people have owned a lot of money because of using the talents that God has given them. But it's so amazing and surprising to meet one of them saying, everything has gone down, I don't have any way out. Can you please do something for me that can lift me up? And what happened to that person? 
is because they did it upside down. They never first glorified the name of God. They never used their gifts to glorify the name of the Lord. They only had to look on themselves and be selfish and say everything is because of my energy, everything I own it, and everything is mine. Yes, the world will always give it to you and really give it to you in plenty. But if they don't hold the blessing from the Lord, it is going to fade away and you see it just going up like smoke. But if you take the talent and give that is within you, my brethren, and first get to know that you are first going to glorify the name of God, and first understand the scripture that says, first, 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 first seek my kingdom and my righteousness and all, and the two things we are going to walk in together and corroborate that your gift is going to first glorify God and the scripture that God says first seek my kingdom and also my righteousness then all other things are coming as additions why are they coming as additions it's because they come and carrying up the blessing that is going to sustain you with all your descendants. And you're even going to grow old and the blessing will keep on working with your children that are coming from your own womb. Let me give you an example of one of the people that you may be well knowing in this world and yet even the older people know them but the young people maybe you don't know about them. Even now they still amaze me though they still not they are not they are, they've passed on. They died in 1964. Jim Reeves. He's a man who is called Jim Reeves. Jim Reeves Yarimbiyima. Jim Reeves sang for the Lord and sang for the Lord all his life. And he understood that he was given the talent to glorify God and always praise the Lord. But I'm telling you surely all his playlists and songs are always being bought and are being bought continuously even though he passed on in 1964 there are about two generations that have come from him they are still being, they are still being fed on this wealth of the father the reason an image that some of you have that going to the movie, movie industry is not good even sometimes you stop your children from going into that and practicing it but for you who have known the Lord Jesus and you understand very well the values of Christianity first let them be in that what they love and after direct them by telling them the gift that you have is only to serve God and give show them the right way to do it and 
And whatever they do is going to be a blessing to them and is going to be of great value in their life. From then when I got to know who I am and separated from the six million contract that I had, God created so many other ways from then. I am not this kind of person who I'm not no longer an applicant for some positions. I am not that kind of Instead, I receive uh, emails, I receive telephone calls, I receive messages telling me, we have seen you in one of the movies in New York, in one of the movies in Europe, in one of the movies in Rwanda. So now we are coming down to Rwanda. We would like you to take part in the movie that we are about to, 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 to be taking right now. So, no, so there are blessings and additional blessings that will always come up and follow you up of what following up what you did. But this is not what I'm just uh, putting in front as I'm concluding. The major thing that I'm emphasizing on is that uh, am I using my talent very well and very valuable and are my children also using my talent as it should be? Charity and service. I am also going to conclude according to something called charity and service. Be marichi imano yanje kuzuza konte yanje Ariko ni hafe huni jicheri na chimge. Chijie gufasha wa undi umu chene. Uzama ni kamabo kakavuga timana warakoze kuko wanza ni yuyumunu. Uvuzi mabganja kababu hindu. What is it going to benefit me for my talent to fill up my bank account and be fill it completely? Yet it does not help anyone. It does not help anyone who, has, who is poor and this person, after they receive anything from this wealthy person, they are going to raise up their hands and tell God, God, I thank you for my life has been improved by this person. And by then, if I do this, I'm like the person who is keeping their wealth where lust and cockroaches are going to reach. So God is helping us. Let us give. Do have a chene. Let's give to the poor. Do have a chene ye. Let's give to the needy. Do fasha baba ba ye. And also help those who are who are in sorrow. Iyo mano ni chimana ya yi mere ye. Exactly. Iyo yo se ni miri mo yo gukore di mana. Exactly this, this is the first reason why God gave me this talent. Because all these are the works of God and are glorifying his name. Iyo yo se ni miri mo. Iramia yokuramia imana. Imana kuyiramisha. If yo nunze byavu ye mubi korgwa byanje bigizwe ni imano yamai. All these are the works to glorify the name of the Lord because I'm glorifying his name through all the talents and gifts he has given me. The katurebe, the katurebe mu Ijambo ngirango mbasigire ni jambo riri mu I'd like to give you this scripture in the book of Colossians. Colossians chapter 3. Verse 14, 17. Ijambo rya Kristo ribe muri mwe rigwiriye rifite ubwenge bwose. Mwigishanye muhugurane muri zaburi n'indirimbo n'ibihambano by'umwuka. Muri rimbirana imana ishimwe mu mitima yanyu. Kandi cyo muzavuga cyose nibyo muzakora. Mujye mubikora byose mu izina ry'umwami Yesu mushima imana data wa twese kubwuwo. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 let the word of <clears throat> in the English version is 16. 
Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching, adonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Hallelujah. Aba korinho ba ambere ibi chacho me morongo ame mitatu no mwe uravu gango na mwe yomuri ya changwa mwa changwa mukori chindi chini chose mudiya mukore rabio se guhimbaza iman. And also in collision, in collision says, uh, second collision says, and whatever you do, what you, you eat, always do it to, to glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Imano zivarimo. The gifts in you. Icho zajenewe. The, the only thing they are there for. Nukubanza gukure imano is to fast, fast serve the Lord. No and also glorify God. And secondly, and God is going to bless it that it should sustain you, you, alone, you yourself, and also your family and all your descendants. Let your children serve God, but only instruct them and direct them on how to use their talents in serving God. And Send your children to us and let us teach them how to serve God in godly values. This is what we call this scripture I just said in Corinthians chapter 10 verse 31 so what you feed on how is it what do you consume what you what you watch and comes into your mind, does it really glorify God? Is it going to help you to know how to glorify God? This is where everything is centered on. So as you see the good thing, no, no, evil things on the TV which are not good or right. So you think your children as well can never do it. Yes, what you think is right. What you've seen is, seen, is, seen is not good. But then your child. You can teach them to do good. And then alas, all the mindset of people and how they perceive what they have been seeing. And they, and they are going to do the good things that are going to glorify the name of God. May our God bless us all. Mureke ikintu kitwa entertainment. Muikoreshe entertainment cyane mu kwamamaza ubwami bw'Imana. Ni mugira ama club ya theatre mu nsengero zanyu, ni mugira uburyo bwose mushobora gukora nu nu du film duto ya tugufi, dushobora guca kuri authentic TV nandi ma televiziyo yose tuvuga ubwiza bw'Imana na Kristo Yesu wacu twamenye. Parents, pastors who are present here today, allow your children to go in movie making, drama centers in the churches, that, and they should learn all these values that are going to glorify the name of God and then advance the kingdom of God.